Are you thinking of getting a different phone, either new, used, old or refurbished? No matter what the case may be, these are the 5 phones in which you need to avoid. These smartphones have some issues, so you have to make sure you are aware of these negative parts of these phones before you spend your hard-earned money to buy them. So these are the 5 phones in which you need to avoid. We will be comparing them in terms of price, specification and functionality in order to know if they are actually worth it. First on the list is iPhone 14. iPhone 14 was launched in the year 2023 and this phone had a lot of buzz in the terms of people were wanting to buy them and use them but after some time people started using it, they started discovering different issues that is associated with this phone first thing they discover is that the iphone 14 has a minimal update compared to its processor instead of buying the iphone 14 it's better you buy iphone 15 which has a whole lot more functionalities compared to the iphone 14. the iphone 15 itself comes with a usb type c charging ports eliminating the difficulties of lightning chargers. It also has a new periscope telephoto lens which is good for content creators to enhance their visual. The iPhone 15 also has an advanced dynamic island so instead of spending your money to buy the iPhone 14 it's better you spend your money to buy the iPhone 15 which I think has more functionality and a whole lot more compared to the iPhone 14. The next on the list is Samsung Z Flip 4. If you're a lover of flip phones I wouldn't recommend the Z Flip 4 for you to buy it. Instead of buying the Z Flip 4, it's better you buy the newly launched one which is Samsung Z Flip 5 which is actually better more advanced than the Z Flip 4. Samsung is actually doing well with their flip phones but I wouldn't recommend the Z Flip 4 to anyone because of there is a whole lot of problems with that phone. I instead I recommend the Z Flip 5 which is newly launched for you to buy. But this is the problem with the Z Flip 4. The battery life cannot be compared with the newly phones that is being done in this year. When you look at the battery the battery doesn't stay long compared to some of the latest phones that are actually in the market it doesn't stay long and when you're also looking at these others when you're also looking at the charging aspect this phone charges very slow compared to some of the latest phones in which you get in the market that charges very fast it simply means when you're using this phone you have to carry a power bank all around you all the time just in case the battery goes down and you want to charge it so i wouldn't recommend the z flip 4 instead i recommend the z flip 5 for you to buy which has a whole much more better functionalities in terms of battery and a whole lot when you also look at the back of the z flip 4 it looks so boring but when you look at the z flip 5 which has a display at the back which makes it more interesting and more admirable by everyone so instead i recommend you buy the z flip 5. The next on the list is Samsung A03s which is actually a low budget phone compared to some of the latest phones being done by Samsung. This device looks huge and nice but in terms of performance this device is zero. The battery doesn't stay as long compared to some of the new Samsungs that are in the market and in terms of performance this phone is very laggy. In terms of performance it doesn't function very well or respond very well. So I actually think this phone is not recommended if you are thinking of buying a flagship phone. I think the this phone is not actually a flagship phone, this is just a, a budget phone for anyone that wants to use a Samsung phone and be current with the latest tech which are actually in the market. I wouldn't recommend the Samsung A03s for you to buy if you are looking for a very good phone. This is actually not what I would recommend for you to get. This A03s uses a 15 watt charger which means the charging will be very slow when you are charging it. Before it will char fully charge it will take time and when you are also looking at the camera, the camera is actually not worth it if you want to use this phone for content creation or a whole lot more i won't recommend it then we have the sony xperia one iv which is actually a new phone from sony xperia xperia phones are actually known for their good cameras and a whole lot more but this particular one is actually not recommendable if you are thinking of getting an xperia phone its signature performance and speakers are all great but this is actually not all you should expect from a mobile device the performance of this phone is actually good but it can justify the price in which you get it in the market when you're using this phone for intense and competing gaming experience, this phone is actually laggy when you use it for so long and doesn't really perform as expected by looking at the price in which it's being sold. When you also use this phone for gaming, it becomes hot when you use it too long while playing games. So I wouldn't recommend this phone for you if you are a lover of game and want to use this phone. It's actually not recommendable. But apart from the camera and other functions on this phone, this phone is actually good. So the choice is yours to make. And the last but not the least, 
list is OnePlus Nord N20. I actually wonder if people use this phone, but I think some people really or actually like this phone. Now, this is one thing you need to know about this phone. This phone is actually a 5G phone, but it's actually filled with ads. So where you are using it, you may come across adverts on this phone, and nobody actually likes seeing ads on your phone while being used, especially when you are connected to the internet. So I think this is actually a serious problem from this company. So I think I wouldn't recommend such. This phone also has performance issue while being used. You will encounter some difficulties using this phone, so I wouldn't recommend this phone to anyone. But still, the choice is in your hand to decide the kind of phone in which you want to use or not use. With all you've seen, which of these phones do you think consumers should be aware and not buy, or you wouldn't recommend someone to buy? Leave a comment and also leave a comment if there's any phone in which you might have used and you think is actually recommendable to anyone thinking of getting a new smartphone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more.